views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL, but we do invite you to like and share them on social media and with all your friends and neighbors. It is time to start caring. Careology, the science of caring. Learn what to do. What do you need to do to care? Well, it's presented by CareBag and hosted by Roxy Brown. Thank you, Cliff. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Oh, wow. Just as wonderful as can be if you can, if I'm allowed to say that. You oh, are my. allowed to say that. I'm glad I can. Yes, you can. I'm glad you can. This is free. This is what they say. This is America. This is free. That's so right. you can yeah. say everybody else says what they want to say. We don't want to hear. So mm-hmm. you're more than welcome to say that you feel good. But, but, but if I feel good, it. what if it offends somebody? If they I get good. over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know if everybody should be in their car just nodding their head. Yeah, get yeah. over it. Okay. Well, if you're in your car, if this is your first time tuning in with us, if this is you're always listening to us, we just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Carology. I am your Carologist, Roxy, and it is great to be with you one more time. And this is what we would call the Eve before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is, we were talking about holidays, and other than my birthday, Thanksgiving is actually one of my favorite holidays. Oh, yeah, mine too, because there's is. a lot of food. It's not, <laughs> you know what, it's not about food. There is no expectation. Around Christmas time, you got the arguing, what did you get me? I didn't want, this is that. Or if you do do Christmas or if you don't do Christmas, but this Thanksgiving is just about coming together, whether it's family, whether it's friends, it doesn't matter what it is, but it's just coming together. And I love that. And if you love, I love to cook. So if you love to cook, this is definitely in your zone. So we love that. And we just want to say again, I don't know how many times I've said it during the year, our condolences go out to the families that have lost someone in the shooting and i think it was the old club where was it again in, um, you in the uh, midwest somewhere yeah in the midwest you know i don't know how many times i say it and you know what i noticed cliff it's like it's to me it's like monotone now it's we just keep saying it until the meaning is gone it becomes blah 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 yeah that's yeah. what it is yeah. and um but still, those families over this holiday now, instead of them looking turkeys, they're looking coffins. Yeah. Um, so our hearts go out to them because loss is loss, no matter where it is, who it is, or how it happened. And when it is loss like this, that is basically unprovoked and unnecessary, that's even sadder. So we just want to go ahead and give a minute and just say, you know, our condolences to the families and our hearts and our prayers are out with you. So, okay. So we want to do that. I hope you've got your turkeys thought out now. It, well, it's a little late to pull it out of the freezer it's, now. It's, it's, it's definitely too late. Those turkeys should be by mid-afternoon tomorrow. Anything you have, should the oven should be started to go on. Mm. So I started prepping from Sunday. Ooh. So, yeah, I started for though anyone that knows that, like I said, I love to cook. So I started prepping from Sunday because if you're going to cook, you're going to put I have an expression. You're going to put your foot in it. So, <laughs> you know, if you love to cook, if you're having whether I'm having guests or not, I love to cook and I always put my best out. Because like I said, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. I love setting the table. I love getting everything ready just to see people in eat and have to undo that first, second, and third button on the shirt, on the pants, on the back of the shirt, everywhere, on the sleeves, because they're just full. And then everybody wants to watch a ball game afterwards, and they all fall asleep. They, everybody some falls asleep, but it's good. And um, as a native New Yorker, I love watching the Macy's Day Parade. It has changed over the years, but I'm going to be my grandbaby and I'm going to watch it with her for the first time. So I hope she enjoys it. And, you know, that's that's just it. But we're going to, we all, those that are tuning in for the first time, we're going to do a little housekeeping. And Curology is sponsored by the Woods family. And we'd love to say thank you so much, Treasure Coast, Lexus, 
they have been doing this now. January is going to be going on two years. Wow. So we are very, very happy. And we just want to say happy Thanksgiving to the whole Treasure Coast family. And we appreciate and we love your support. And if you are looking for a beautiful Lexus, I implore you, that is the place to go. You just sent them. Roxy sent you. I can't give you a salesperson or a salesman or a saleswoman because they all are exceptional. So if you are, please go down there. They'll be happy to hear from you and happy to know I sent you. It's like being in a club. Yeah. It's they, a... they have a, a like a monthly get together where they feed everybody and wash cars. <laughs> that, that, I mean, you don't find that everywhere. But, but you know, it's a it's a lovely place to go service. I, I go, I get my car clean, go get it washed in detail. And it's just really good. So I just want to say thank you. And we're wishing, first of all, we're not only wishing them, we're wishing everyone at the sound of my voice, watching us, listening to us on any social media platform. Happy, happy Thanksgiving when it comes. But on top of everything, we want you to be safe. And if you are alone, there are so many places that are having Thanksgiving meals you don't have to be alone we want call 211 get that information we want everybody to know this the holiday times is the highest suicide rate and we don't want you to be alone we want you to know you're thinking about you someone's thinking about you and someone wants you over so if you know you're going to be alone, find a church, find a place that is having Thanksgiving and invite yourself. Nothing is wrong with inviting yourself. Invite yourself, call a friend and say, hey, what you doing? Can I come over? There's nothing wrong with that because when people cook, they have a whole lot of food. So go ahead and do that. So for, if you're tuning in for the first time with us, Careology is a subsidiary of Carebag Incorporated. And we are a nonprofit here on the Treasure Coast. And what we do, we provide access to proper hygiene for our homeless and anyone that is in need. So what I've said, we provide prop access to proper hygiene for all, because that's what we do for all. If you'd like to find out more information, please go to give carebag.com and we'll take you right to our website that is give carebag c-a-r-e-b-a-g.com and it'll take you right to our website and you're going to see the fabulous things we're doing you're going to see the fabulous things we have going on right now our information is up because we have our gala brunch coming up january 7th at the Wyndham grand and all of our information is there so if anyone is interested to be a sponsor or to even come and volunteer please reach out to us let us know we would love to have you so it is www.givecarebag.com and all our information is there it's coming up to the end of the season if you know you're sitting on all of this money and you need to go ahead and you need to just get a little bit out because our Mr. Uncle Sam says, listen, you got to get rid of some. Please think of Care Bag. We would love your donation. It's a tax deductible. And we are happy to accept that. Sometimes so, people look for a, a good charity to support at the end of the year because they, they need a bigger tax deduction. Care Bag, that's the perfect one. Uh, that's spelled, uh, yes, get it on is. Care, you know, uh, uh, give carebag dot give carebag dot com. Anything that you That's can it. do is, 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 is explain to you in that website. You go in there and yes. see what you can do. That is, you can do. And like we said, you know, we I always ask anyone, would you consider? Would you consider donating to Carebag, whatever you can? We have our Giving Tuesday that's coming up in a couple of weeks. And we just want, I. this is what I say. If I can get everyone to send Carebag $10, that would be amazing. It'd be plenty if everybody did that it. That would be amazing. That's and that's the plea that I'm making out to all our followers that we're having on Carebag and that we're having on Facebook and Instagram. If you would go ahead and each of you would make $10, that would make a big difference. Because what people don't understand, when you make a donation on that day, Carebag, um, to Carebag on the, on the Facebook site, Facebook actually matches that. So that is a really, really big deal. And a lot of people don't understand a match. They match dollar for dollar. And that's what we're looking for. And that's one thing that would be really great for us. So if that's what you like to do, stay tuned. I'll be talking about it every Tuesday because that's important. And we want to get it out because every donation can help. I did the math. $958 helps us shower one person for the year. 
So if we round it out to $1,000, it helps us shower one person three times a week for a year. That's a lot. $300 makes us shower one person for three months, for a quarter. So, you know, when you look at it that way, it, it's a it's a big difference. So we want to just implore people. We're doing the work. We're excited. We're still looking for that Ford high top extended van. We're still looking. They're hard to come by. We're we're still I looking. I think it's for, called a sprinter van. It is the sprinter van. Yes, the it is. The big one. The big That's extended high top sprinter van. We're still looking. So if you're in the business and you know you have a Ford, give us a call. Come on our website. Give us a call. Our number is there. And let's talk because we are looking for it. We would like to get it by the beginning of the year. So we're still looking. We're looking all over. We're looking throughout the state of Florida first. And if I have to go out of the state, I will do that because it is important that I find that. So, and it's, it's, it's the next step to care bag going on to those next steps. And that's very important for what we're going to do. We have 20 between 10, 20 soup kitchens and 20 food pantries that we have seen and targeted that we would like to get to by the end of 2023. That means that they're on a specific location. That means that when you go, if you're needing food, if you're needing groceries and you go there, we'll be right alongside that organization, that church, whoever's doing it, that we can go ahead and we can assist you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's a really, really big deal. And we're very proud of that. So that is what Care Bag does. If anyone wants to know you're new and you're like, well, what is Care Bag? We provide access of proper hygiene to all that are in need. So government assistance only does food. You can get milk, eggs, bread, cereal, meat, anything. But the one thing you cannot buy is toilet paper, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes. That's what we do. And it is essential. A lot of folks don't know that uh, some homeless people are employed and, and they need uh, bath soap, toothpaste. Well, it's not only that. You have so many people that are working poor. Yeah. We have so many people. Right now, St. Lucie County is 40. We have we have 46% of the households of St. Lucie County live under the poverty line. Wow. And that was a report done by United Way Alice Report. So if that was done before the pandemic, can we just fathom or imagine how many people, some of you are driving and, and shaking your head, Roxy, I know what you mean, because if I lose my job or that paycheck stops, I don't know what I'm going to do. Living month that, to month, just one paycheck away from being. Some homeless. people can't even get to one paycheck to one paycheck. Uh, so and these this is we're that bridge. We're that little take a deep breath. Imagine if you can save on Pampers, toothpaste, the pens, deodorant. Imagine you can save that little bit that you can get that extra gas in the car, that you can go ahead and you can buy that ticket to whatever you need, you know, or pay that ticket that you got, you know, or pay the toll to go where you have to go. All of that makes a big difference. And I don't think a lot of people understand that, but we do. At Carebag, we understand it and we want to be here for the families and for the individuals that are in need. And that's all that we can do. So we're proud of that and we're proud of pushing ourselves to that next level. And we're glad that we have the community support and community support is nothing but important. It's crucial to everything that we do. So again, it is givecarebag.com. And again, it is givecarebag.com. And if you can't, if you forget, you just dial 211, they'll give you our number. We'd be happy to go ahead or you can just call us or text us on our number, which is 772-222-7399. It's really simple. Port St. Lucie, 772-222-7399. And that is just crucial for just getting the information. You call, you will get information on how to make a donation, or if you have in-kind contribution that you need a receipt for, we'll be happy to do that. Or if you need assistance, call us, email us, text us. You can text or you can call. If you have, some people are a little afraid to speak to other people, just text us and ask us some general information 
and we'll be able to answer it, whoever gets it, and be able to assist you in any way that you can. I don't believe anyone should go to bed or wake up without not having a shower. That's important. Everyone should be able to have a shower, to brush their teeth and have what is needed. So that is extremely important. And, you know, like I said, it's, do you notice that there are just so many things going on right now? It's, you know, we're, we're sitting here, we, we can see the news. We see everything that's going on. And then, report. Somebody getting shot. Somebody's getting shot. Somebody's getting something. So we just want to let everyone know over this holiday season, we just want everyone to know, please drive like your mom and dad, your child is in the car in front of you or beside you. That is so, so important. You know, everyone has somewhere to go and everyone has a loved one on the road and everybody wants to get home safely. So that is important. Please be careful this Thanksgiving season. The pandemic's over and everyone's feeling like, you know what? I just want to go, go, go. We've been locked up so long, but we just really need to be careful and just remember the others on the road. I have a lot of friends that are driving to different states right now. And the first thing I say is just be careful. Look in front of you, beside you, everything. It's just very, very important. So please be careful as you're traveling. Please be careful on Thanksgiving Day as you're going to your friend's house. Remember, kids are out of school. These little kids, they dodge in and out like a little dart ball. Watch the roads. You don't want to start your holiday or your New Year season off in a traumatic experience. And every life is important. So those are some of the little housekeeping rules that we have for them, Cliff. We just want to, you know, just keep everybody. And again, Cliff, we are so happy that you're doing better and looking good. Well, you know, it, 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 I can't believe it because if I stop and think what happened, I don't feel like that happened mm -hmm. because, well, you, you, you go through a lot and it's probably, uh, probably so traumatic that you don't remember a lot of it. Yeah. And, uh, I feel so good right now that uh, I literally I could get out and run around. Okay, so I'm just going to let everybody gonna... know. I came into work and Ch Cliff started to talk to me before I even came into the studio. And he decided he wanted to beat his chest. I just had to ask him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's too much right now for me to handle. But the fact that you're feeling that good is God blessing. And we just want you to have a wonderful Thanksgiving when it comes. And take it easy. Not too much turkey. Right. Or whatever you too mean. much turkey can stretch the innards a little bit. You don't yeah. want to do that. We want to we want to just keep look. Just we know keep it on the sleep. You know, yeah. Trip the fan and turkey will put you to sleep. <laughs> yeah. So good luck watching the game. <laughs> uh, I don't even know which game is on, but what I want to tell everyone: if anyone belongs to an association, we want you to reach out to Careback because what I've started to do, we want to start talking to associations and just groups about what we're doing, getting the word out. I think, you know, Cliff, I think that's my new goal for the new year for Care Bag is finding a so lawyer associations, realtor associations, clubs, getting out there and letting them know, you know what, this is what we are doing. And because a lot, we want a lot of people to know, that's my goal. I want a lot more people to know what we're doing because we're really hitting the pavement and hitting the ground running for 2023. With our new Sprinter van, which we're hoping to purchase and have done and completed by the end of the quarter, is going to make a big, big difference. And I'm excited because we don't know how we're going to, our shower units are done by Anne-Marie Wachowski, and she did a beautiful job in our graphics. And I've been feeling to run a contest to see what will somebody come up with for our mobile hygiene pantry. Our first mobile hygiene pantry, we have the beautiful Chrissy from Design Assign went ahead and put some beautiful decals on the side, yep. and we have all our information on it. But I was thinking, how cool would our mobile hygiene pantry, because the thing is, we got a lot of white space. We got a lot of, lot of space. You're thinking about maybe putting a grill inside for... <laughs> you know? I think, well, where we're going, they already offer food so that we'll just, you know, they're doing food, they're, do, they're giving away food, they're having soup kitchens. So that might not be the best place for a grill. But just imagine having a contest for a design for our mobile hygiene pantry. You know, how how cool would that be if somebody could tell us, you know, we have our community come up with a design 
That would be nice. You know what? I think we just found that. You probably won't have any trouble getting a, a real incentive going. Uh, you've had like flat screen TVs donated in the past. Mm. Something like that. You could. Uh, no, they're find that, a prize. No, but this we don't have to find a prize. If we pick you as the winner, our mobile hygiene pantry, our big sprinter van is going to be wrapped with your design. Ooh. That is going to be going all through the Treasure Coast. If it hits down West Palm, it's going to be getting a lot of press, a lot of play. Just imagine your name, your design your that, here, everyone, yes. that everyone could see. Absolutely. That is going to be amazing. You know what? I think that's a sometimes the best things come out when you're just talking it. Yeah. But I think that would be so cool to have us a local a local contest who can come up with the best design for a mobile hygiene pantry. Yeah. That would be, that would be nice to see what creativity that we have. That would be just really, really awesome. A lot of creative people out there. Oh my God. They goodness. need to vent that uh, creativity. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Right? Don't let it build up. Creativity is bad. Awesome. If you don't do something with it. Creativity in the mind. If I think of something I can think of out the box, way, way out the box. But creativity as an art firm, that's a whole different ball. Yeah, and art covers a that's, wide area. That's a wide area. And you have to be gifted when it comes to that type of art that we're looking for. And and that's it's amazing. You know, if someone can do it, that would be truly, truly amazing. So I might have to talk to someone and see how we can go ahead and finagle that around here because just having that on the Treasure Coast and seeing the talent we have come through, what they can design for this sprinter unit will be absolutely awesome. Yeah. And just get the juices flowing. I can't wait to to hear some of the ideas that have come in. Mm. You'll be sharing them on the show, I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> this is look, this is where the, the this is where the mind and the design set come from. Because you want one, you want young people involved. You want the community involved. Oh, and yeah. if the community and everyone's involved, that's the best that's the best thing you can't you can't go wrong with that so that's something we would want i think i'm gonna have to do that see how i can push that out for the thanksgiving that would be nice and see how we can get it just local artists just but you know what somebody that doesn't even do art can just come up with something oh, yeah. you just never know so it's because some songwriter going... can write a song that would inspire people to support care about oh, a song you gotta have a good it gotta be a good voice i'm really picky about my music a lot of the songwriters that have the big songs can't even sing though that's the fun thing about true. it and then, then an artist comes along and says hey i like that and they just turn it into a, a world wonder i'll bet we could help find somebody who could record something if it gets to that if, if it, it, if it, if it gets that, it. Yeah. right now i think we're gonna just deal with how we can get someone to go ahead yeah. and find some local artists and do, you know, do a contest on how we can just come up with the best design for the sprint unit, because that would be awesome to have it locally. I think that would be absolutely great. So I'm, I think I'm starting even to get excited about it, oh, but yeah. it's just so much like when I came and we were talking, it's so much one, the weather's dreary. We need the rain, yeah. but I think we're getting too much rain, which yeah. not nobody can do anything about, but the weather has been so dreary with these shootings, the last night, the light, nightclub shooting they just had. And then I think a couple of weeks ago, there was a shooting near us in Fort Pierce. You know, there's so much going on. So many young, young people, old people, so many people are just, you know, just so sad. You just don't know what to do. And just everywhere you look around, it's just some bad news going on. So it's, um, it's sad. It's, um, it, it makes you wonder where are we going? Where are we going to this? You know, what's, what's going to be? You know, I have I have no idea. You know, now we're not talking about a ride in a handbasket, but we could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you know we want to we want to look on the bright side of things, yeah. but um, what what do we do? That's that's my question. When everything is going, you think everything is going south. What can we do to just build ourselves up? And that's where inspiration comes from. Well, you know how we we get around, we talk, and we come up with ideas. I think if more people talked instead of argued. They could find well, some people, great well, ideas. But people don't, first of all, people don't talk anymore. Yeah. People right. are just on their phones. Yep. 
on their computers on and it's you you go what amazes me is when you go out to dinner and I might go out to dinner with my husband or go out with friends and you'll see other couples or people together and everyone has their head down everyone just is like on their phone. You just see the fingers it's thing texting moving. with people that are sitting at the same, at the table. same table. But <laughs> there, that's the thing. There is no there is no more conversation. Wow. There is no so at my house, I have a basket. Uh -huh. And you if you want to eat at my house, your 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 daggone phone, your phone in is the in the basket. Okay. Because I have taken my time and stood on my two legs for too long. For you to be having your face down in your phone. You don't want to get gravy all over your phone, so put it down. <laughs> you eat. know, and what is a disrespect? It's um, it's a disrespect for someone to cook a good meal and you can't take time to sit around and just have a nice, normal conversation. People don't understand the disrespect in that. Now, if you're at a meeting and you're talking and this is what's going on, you see what I'm saying? This is what's going on. You're needing your phones. You're you're looking up information to give everyone. That's different. You know, I was at a lunch meeting with a friend today and we were giving each other information. So we had to look. Did you find this email? That's different. You're that's that's a working lunch. But when you're with someone and it's a private environment or you're on a date or you're just going to spend time with each other, you cannot be on your phone. I I think that is such a distraction. And I think it's just so I think it's rude. Is that the word we can use yeah absolutely it's yes. just it's just plain rude that's it my mom used to say my mom has a word uncouth well you walk I, into somebody's house and everybody's sitting on the couch texting each other in the same room when they could talk to each other why yeah. do you pay for the cell phone when you can talk to each other for free? Mouth, but that's why i said the <laughs> art of communication is missing and then people wonder why we have so many mass shootings why we have so many destructive mental individuals no one is talking to each other and just, you know, you walk into a room, people walk into a store and their head is down. They're in their phone. Have you ever picked up your face and just said, hello, how you doing? You know, I love going to mission barbecue. That's one of my places. I love to go in St. Lucie West. When you walk in, it is an immediate greeting. You know, you don't see any of the young lady or the men on their phone. It is an immediate and immediate greeting. Hi, how are you? Welcome. And that's so refreshing. You go to other places and even the even the people working there are still on their phone. They don't know how to come off. So, you know, it's that we just want to just take your head up. Look at the person in front of you. You might actually like them. You know, look at them, see how they look, tell them how nice they look, how nice their hair is, you know, have start a conversation because that is missing and just see how it goes. It's just one day, you know, it, it is just a couple hours in the day that you could have some good conversation and catch and just say catch up, you know, and I keep we're going to keep saying it. A lot of things that people put on social media, social media is for entertainment purposes. So that is fake. That's not real. So you know what, you stop it. That's all, it. All the people look so beautiful and happy, it's called but they're filters. not. Happy. They're not happy. No, I think I told you one time there was a girl. I think it was last year. She went ahead and posted about how happy she was, and she was taking pictures and how she looked. And before the sun set that night, she had committed suicide. Wow. You know, and they went back and looked at her post, and it's just, it's a sham. You know, yeah. everybody's doing this to make themselves look a certain way. This is not real. And we want people to start understanding between reality and social media. There is a big difference. Big difference. There's a big difference between reality and life and social media. So, you know, we want we want people to know. So it's just it's it's just really sad with everything that's just going on. So we're going to take a break, Cliff, okay. and we're going to be back. We just want to encourage everyone coming up on this holiday that you're not alone. And we're going to give you some inspiration. And Roxy and Cliff will be back with Chirology right after these messages from our beautiful and amazing sponsors. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you could reimagine the way you buy a car, what would you do? Make it simple, make negotiations disappear, demand transparency, then experience amazing at your Treasure Coast Lexus dealer. 
Car Buying Simplified. Treasure Coast Lexus is a proud sponsor of Carology. Every Tuesday at 6.05 p.m., caring and supporting for our community. Car Buying Simplified. Check out your Treasure Coast Lexus dealer. Create custom business signage that customers can't miss or resist. Let Design a Sign in Port St. Lucie help you get the job done right. Over 80 years combined experience. Get it right the first time. Call 772-337-4027 and tell them Roxy said to call. Remember, call 772-337-4027. 4020. Design a sign in Port St. Lucie. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. And now we're back with more Curology with Roxy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cliff. You know, we just want to say to everyone again. <clears throat> Everyone, we want to say just be careful. Thanksgiving is around the corner. And even though Thanksgiving is around the corner, the one thing we want to know that you are not alone. That's right. You know, you are not alone. You are loved. You are important. And when you when people know that, and I think it, I don't know, you know, Cliff, I think it just makes a difference when someone knows that they are not alone. And it's just... um. Being, I think it's being thankful. I think being, um, being thankful, is is very important. And we, you know, we want to let people know, and we want to remind you of that. And I think it's so being thankful is being just pleased. You know, lonely is not being alone. It is feeling like no one cares. That that's what it is. You're not alone. You just feel like no one cares. And you have to know that someone cares for you. Someone cares, you know, and it's, and it's, an, I think it's more than important for people to understand that. And we just want to, you know, we just want to just let you know to be careful with the words. The, once they are said, they can only, they can only be forgiven, not forgotten. And I think that's where the problem comes in when you get to, around that table, people start remembering what things have been said. And when these things are said, the problem is, guess what? They don't forget it, even though it's been forgiven. So you got to be careful of what you say, especially when it hurts. Yeah. You say something that hurts. Somebody, yeah, so you they, got, they don't forget that right away. Yeah. So you got to be you definitely got to be careful with your words and just remember that once they are said, they can only be forgiven and not forgotten. That is very, very impor important. And remember also that the story of us looks a lot like tragedy now, but it's not. So what I mean by that, you may think you're going through something. You may think the worst is happening. It's the worst thing that can happen to you right now. But you know what? It is just part of the story. It's just it's something called life. You know, that that's what it is. It is something called life. And a lot of people are forgetting life. They're forgetting you have the you have the ups and downs. You have everything going on. And it is just called life. And how do we deal with that? You just have to know you have to know how. And dealing with it is simply by just knowing yourself, loving yourself, you know, and knowing knowing what gratitude is. So I think what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do is spend a little time on learning what basically is gratitude. I, I think people misinterpret thankfulness and being grateful for gratitude, Cliff. And we need to, you know, we need to let them know that. Gratitude is an attitude. Yeah, it is. It's a good attitude. If somebody says, you got gratitude an attitude, we're not having, talking about that. We're gratitude having, is having the best attitude. Ah, there you go. See, we just we just threw something on you. Gratitude is having the best attitude. When, you have, the best, when <laughs> you have the best attitude, gratitude changes everything. Wow. You Gratitude changes everything. And gratitude is the best attitude. And if you have the best attitude... You, you're going to go, you're just going to be grateful of everything. You're going to be looking at everything at a different light. And it's just going to be so good. 
And that's what's important. And we really, really want that. So, you know, we want we want people to remember that gratitude is very, very important. Gratitude, what we said, is just the right attitude, you know. And another thing, gratitude makes sense of our past. It brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. So you have to look at this thing. You have to look at the bigger picture, you know, and we want people, we want people to know that. So it remember gratitude means having the best attitude. So if you're thinking that you are important, if you're thinking you are loved, if you're thinking you matter, if you think you get up and say, I am going to have a great day today, your attitude has already changed. So you will always find something to be grateful for. You know, there's always there's always something to be grateful for. You know, I can say that the willingness to get dirty has always defined us as a nation. And it's the hallmark of hard work and a hallmark of fun. And dirt is not the enemy. That's right. The sleeves are. If you don't roll them up and, <laughs> and use those arms to help, that's what happens. So that's yeah, that's what it is. You know, everyone looks at somebody dirty as this, but when you when I see someone that's just shoveled and you can see them dirty, I think of somebody hardworking. Yeah. You know, I think I think of somebody hardworking. Everyone, there's a story behind everyone. Everyone has a story. Everyone looks at things very differently. But if you look at things in a different light, in a positive light, people look at somebody dirty and disheveled. Oh, my God. It, I look at somebody dirty and disheveled. I say, oh, my goodness, they must have been really working hard today. So what? that when I look at them, I see a hardworking individual. It's the attitude you have that puts it out there. Now, somebody else might come along and get a different impression, maybe a, not, a non-accurate impression. Mm -hmm. That a dirty person is 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 not necessarily a good person. That's not uh, that's, that's judging not others. That's yeah. judgment, which you shouldn't do. Well, this is what you have to remember: those that think they know it yeah. all have no way of finding out they don't. Right. So mm -hmm. you know. So there you go. If you think you know it all, yeah. you have no way of finding out that you don't. Thinking that you know it all kind of blocks, blocks the reality everything. of it. Yeah. yeah, it blocks everything that you're trying to do. So that's one. That is the very essence and the importance of it. We are so quick to judge. We're so quick to come to an opinion of others. You know. So for me, everyone has their little, you know, their new little nuances. If I ask somebody to do something. And they tell me, yeah, they're going to do it. I just expect you to get it done. Yeah. Because if I asked you to do it, that means I've asked you for a reason. You know, if I wanted you to wait, I wouldn't have asked you. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. All, the, all the time because there's people yeah. that say, oh, yeah, I'm going to help. I'm going to be yeah. right there. I'm and they don't do show it. up. Yeah, I'm asking you to do it at a time because I might have something to do when you do it. You know, nothing irritates me more than someone that drags their feet. That just kind of. Ugh. Some people toy with people. Yeah. They they offer them something wonderful and then act like they're teasing them with it. Like but holding you know a chair what? before a That's horse. not it. That same person you may ask, when they ask you to do something oh, yeah. and you don't move, oh my goodness, the whole world seems to crumble. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing is right. And, you know, uh, there's always that saying, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's it. If you want somebody to treat you with love, treat you with respect, if you want somebody to get up and hustle for you when you ask, if you want somebody to do what you've asked them to do, you in return have to do the same thing. It goes it goes to both. It goes both ways. We have to do the same thing. And that is important. If you want to so, have friends, you've got to be friendly. There you go. That's it. If you want to be alone, then guess what? You're gonna no problem, you're gonna right? you're gonna stay alone, and it's just I don't know it's just one it's just one of those things. But we're gonna throw that out there. In order to be grateful, you have to have the right attitude. If you don't have the right attitude, nothing, nothing, nothing is going to come your way. And we want people to understand that it's you know, it's it's just it's so important. So many people complain, and so many people have negativity on everything that they do, but they don't see the, they don't see the blessings that's coming out in front of them. And, you know, a thankful heart, they always say a thankful heart is a happy heart. It sounds very, very corny, but it is very, very true. When you're thankful, you, you're, you're happier. 
When you're thankful, you smile more. That means less pain, less headache, less blood pressure, less pain in the chest. You're finding a reason to be thankful and you're finding pe- reason to have grat- gratitude. Well, imagine somebody who is grateful because of the meal that they went out to eat and they, they, they get a meal and they're grateful for that meal. Do you know what they do? They give a gratuity, which is a word derived from gratitude, a gratuity, which is what we call a tip, like you do in a restaurant. That's gratitude for yeah. the for the cook doing so good or or the service being wonderful. So you give a gratuity. That's that's gratitude in action. When you when you take the, the green stuff out of your wallet and you hand it over, <laughs> that's gratitude. And you know, a lot of folks realize that when it comes to being homeless, I mean what's what's keeping what's keeping us from being homeless right now? Any, anything the yeah. sun coming down and not rising tomorrow yeah. you know the sun going down or the sun coming up some of us are just a sunset away yeah some yeah. people say a paycheck some of us are just a sunset away that's what it is because your job of your job applies you go to bed you wake up you go to work yeah. you come home you go to sleep so it's a sunset rising tomorrow determines basically if you are become homeless or not. And what pe- a lot of people come to me and say, well, I don't understand. Not I don't understand how they're homeless. Not one, not everyone has family. Right. True. So let's put that out there. Not everyone has a mother, a father, an aunt, a sister, a brother, a nephew, a cousin. Some people don't have family. Family is not for everyone. Some people do not have family. That's number one. Usually the folks with families, they need to be grateful, have some gratitude for having a family because that's your whole support system right there. So that's something, so you just touch it. So we're just talking about being thankful. That's something to be thankful for, to be thankful for your family. A lot of people don't have family. So when they end up in this situation, friends will only help you but to a point. And afterwards, if you have a lease, if you have a rental, if you have a house, you have a family, not everybody can stay with you that long. So that's that's one of the caveats of that right there. Then you have some people that are coming out of jail. Then you have some people that are coming out of rehab. Some people don't want you. Some people, some family members, some friends have come to the last, they've come to the edge of the cliff with them. And they said, you know what? I'm not going to go through this with you again. So you need to get it straightened out. They've got it straightened out, but because no one believes them, guess what happens? They're still stuck in that situation. So now there's another thing to be thankful for. We should be thankful for the people that we have around us that are supporting what we're doing that are there in our crisis moments. That's what we call it. Everyone has different crisis moments. Some crisis moments are anger. Some crisis moments are smoking. Some crisis moments are coming out of jail. Some crisis moments are rehab. Everyone has a crisis moment. So we need to be thankful because when those people, when some of these people get into crisis moments, they don't have what what normal people would have. And that would be, we just said it, Thankful that you have family, thankful that you have a community, that you have family support. Okay. In our community, we have a lot of community support. Other places really don't have it. So that's something we have to be thankful for every moment we have. That's what it boils down to. Just being thankful for every moment we have. And here is another quote I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to share with you. Along my journey, I have learned that the word thank about, sorry, along along my journey, I have learned that the more thankful I am, the more I have to be thankful for. So that's something that's very important. Along the journey that we take that we're thankful, we are always going to be able to find something that we are thankful for. Cliff is thankful for the breath of life. Absolutely, because you know, I, I knew what was going on when 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 I had the heart attack, you know. I was I was aware that I had passed. And in fact, I was very surprised when I woke up with the tubes and all the stuff that they you know and uh, I, w- I was just I was shocked. In fact, my first words to, to Karen was, When's the funeral? And she says, There's not gonna be one and I thought, Wow. Because I've known people who have gone through the same thing and they didn't make it. And, and I'm sure I can I can a hundred percent 
200% tell you they were not able to ask when was the funeral. Right. They weren't. <laughs> they, and, and you know what? I got a feeling that they knew that they had passed too. Yeah. You see, that's the thing. Usually uh, there's a joke that goes around. They said, when, when you're dead, you don't know it. Just like being stupid. You don't know it. You, you know, know what? I'm a half. I don't agree with you all the time, but I'm going to agree with you on that one. Stupid, stupid people don't know that they're stupid. No. They think they're the smartest people around until they start hearing themselves. So I did this to somebody and some of you listening talk about, oh, my God, Roxy, that's so cool. <laughs> I actually taped a conversation oh. I had with someone that was talking to me because yeah. while they were talking to me, I sat there on my phone and I'm sitting Oh my God, can they hear themselves? And then I said, only, this is what I said, only if they can hear themselves. And then the bulb went off and I recorded. Record and then when they were finished, I sent it. I said, this is how you sounded. And I sent it, you know, because I wanted them to hear what stupidity to me sounded like, oh, yeah. you know, so everybody that doesn't know me, I don't hold any punches. You know, you hear different I'm not, than you hear yourself. Yeah, I'm not politically correct, so I just say it as it is. Okay. But um, stupid is just stupid. You can't box, you can't box stupid up. You can't put it in a bowl. There's nothing you can do. With There's stupid. no real cure for it either, except <laughs> it's to... <laughs> just, stupid. you know, and so, sometimes people tell you something and you just, I turn my head and I look at them and I'm like, did you just say that? Did you, did you not hear yourself? So, you know, I know we digress, but um, we just, we want to keep people in the tune. We're, we're on Thursday. We're a couple of days. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving Eve. We're a couple of days from Thanksgiving. Like I said, that's one of my favorite holidays. And a good life is when you smile often, dream big, laugh a lot, and realize how blessed you are for what you have. And digression can be a good thing. Yes. You know, it's a good conversation yeah. stopper. And I'm very <laughs> blessed for what I have. Sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm gonna be let's be honest, right. people. Yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't feel like you're being blessed. Sometimes you feel like the world is sitting on the top of the orifices of your head and you're like oh my god what what is going on but what you have to remember be thankful for what you have you'll end up having more if you concentrate on what you don't have you will never ever have enough and i think that's where the problem comes in some people wonder about when am i going to get this when am i going to get this how am i going to get this how am i going to pay this how am i going to do this but not realize just to be thankful for what you have right now right there's it makes a lot of a people difference. there's people out there that are just gimme 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 yeah gimme. And see, that's why I'm not really a big fan of Christmas is because it's the gimme, gimme, gimme. Christmas is not a, Christmas. yeah, what you got me. This is not your birthday. Right. This is not even <laughs> Jesus's birthday. <laughs> this is, has nothing to do with you. Because remember, we were sitting here talking about it. Yeah. And that's my, and that's my little plug. This got Christmas don't got nothing to do with you. If I don't give you anything, that's not your day. Your birthday is your day, you know, so that's the problem. We're always worried about what we're going to get, what we're going to get, what we're going to get. But we're not even thinking about what we have right now, you know, what we have right now. So everyone that is sitting there and they're worried about it, we just want to leave you with things to be thankful. And I'm going to say that again. Be thankful for what you have. You will end up having more if you concentrate on what you do, on what you have you will end up having less if you concentrate on what you don't have yep. okay don't worry about what you don't have and that's what i'm realizing what is meant you know i used to do that with care bag i used to worry oh my goodness care bag we just started everyone should be jumping up and down look what we're doing for the homeless look what we're doing for families why are people writing a check why are people supporting us but if you sat there and worry 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 you had it got a point where i had to stop worrying doesn't it help doesn't anything. it doesn't help i had to say okay this is what i have and this is what i'm gonna do now yeah. so when someone sees what we are doing more people are going to come yeah, about. That's, that's how it's happened. worked so far. And that's that's how, what that's how it works. So that that's explains my thing. all these sponsors. Yes, it does, and and we have a lot more sponsors. We have a couple minutes left, but I just want to leave you guys with something. And again, I want to tell everybody Happy Thanksgiving. You know, and at some point, you just have to let go of what you thought should happen, 
and live in what is happening. That's I'm going to just say it again. At some point, Treasure Coast, those listening all over the world in our digital world, you just have to let it go. And what you thought should be happening in your life at the moment, you have to live in what is happening now. And if you find yourself wishing that you could change people, you cannot. You, all you got to do is change yourself. Yes. You can't change others, but you can change yourself. Yes, you can. And uh, and adding a little caring to the mix is always good. It's always good. And feeling grateful is always good. So just start a, start each day with a grateful heart. You know, I know people say, but when you wake up, when you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning and you put your feet to the ground or you're sitting on the toilet, God, thank you for letting me walk to the toilet and sit down. That is something to be grateful for, because I guarantee you thousands of people will not open their eyes tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Thousand people are going to go to bed and they're that would be the last breath that and they take. some of them, you know, and some of them we might know. Right. So let's have a good before you go to bed. Have a grateful heart for what you have around you. Have a grateful heart for everything you have going around you. Our grateful heart right now is to thank God and to thank you for listening to us, for tuning with us each week. And just being here with Chirology and supporting us. And that is what we, that's what we are thankful for. A, a grateful heart would be somebody who's really made it good and, and, and making a lot of money. So take, <laughs> take, pick up a, a, a charity like, like care bag and support it. Cause that's, that's what you're doing things for people that can't help you. That's, that's, that's part I, of being great. You're helping people that can't pay you back. See, that's the best. Yeah, giving. this is how I look at it. You're giving something to someone who cannot give you nothing in return. Right. And that that's is true giving. And that is true giving. And that's what we love. So we're going to end it on here. And just to remind everybody, start each day and start each night with a grateful heart. My name is Roxy. This is Chirology. I am your chirologist. And it has been an honor to be with you on the eve of our eve of Thanksgiving Day. And have a wonderful and beautiful and blessed Thanksgiving. And we will be back next week, Tuesday. And have a beautiful evening, everyone. God bless. And please be careful out there. Have a safe Thanksgiving. Dial 211 or just call CareBag. 772-222-7399. Sure. Have, a good, have a good night, Jack. Right. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Thanks for being out there. You know what? This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast, webcasting to the world on Google Home, Alexa, and the TuneIn app on your smartphone. <laughs>